10 Things to Do in Mexico Right Now Buckle up for a Mexican adventure that'll leave your taste buds tangoing and your camera roll overflowing with fiesta fire. We will explore the top 10 things to do in Mexico right now. But before we dive into that, did you know that Mexico has some mind-blowing and slightly bonkers facts? Did you know the mighty Mexica tribe, hailing from central Mexico, laid the foundation for one of history's most fascinating civilizations? In 1325 AD, they skillfully established the city of Tenochtitlan, strategically perched on a marshy island in Lake Texcoco. What makes this even more intriguing is that the Mexica, displaying remarkable diplomatic prowess, forged alliances with neighboring communities around Lake Texcoco. This extraordinary coalition eventually blossomed into the awe-inspiring Aztec Empire, etching its name into the annals of time. And here's a tidbit that adds a twist to geography. The name Mexico originates in this ancient alliance and the grandeur of Tenochtitlan. All right, let's kick things off with a mind-bending fact. If you ask most people about the location of the largest pyramid on Earth, a hopping 99% would likely point their compasses towards Egypt. However, hold on to your archaeological hats because the actual volume, not height, giant is the Great Pyramid of Cholula in Cholula, Mexico. This pyramid is even more jaw-dropping because a significant portion of its colossal structure is concealed beneath the Earth's surface. Blame it on the Spanish conquistadors, who, upon invading Mexico, decided to play architectural mix and match by plopping Catholic churches right on top of existing temples. The Great Pyramid of Cholula rests beneath the Nuestra Señora de los Remedios Cholula Church. Built to honor the Aztec deity Quetzalcoatl, this behemoth boasts a staggering 4.5 million cubic meters, inviting curious visitors to explore its subterranean mysteries through underground passageways. Did you know the world's smallest dog, the Chihuahua, is named after a Mexican state? That's right, these tiny pups are Mexican celebrities. Chocolate Paradise The Mayans and Aztecs sipped hot cocoa long before Hershey ever dreamed of a kiss. Talk about OG chocoholics. The Mayans used chocolate as currency. Imagine buying your next car with a truckload of chocolate bars. Floating Skulls Dia de Muertos, or Day of the Dead, isn't scary, it's a sugar-coated celebration. Make skull-shaped candy and party like there's no manana, because technically there isn't. Brace yourself for this delightful fact. Kids in Mexico typically unwrap their Christmas presents on January 6. That's right, it's all about Dia de Reyes, also known as Three Kings Day. This unique tradition stems from the Christian belief that it was on this day when the three wise men bestowed gifts upon baby Jesus. Picture the anticipation as children eagerly await the arrival of their long-awaited presents. However, an intriguing transformation is occurring as Mexico undergoes urbanization and a shift towards a more secular outlook. Nowadays, more households are blending traditions, with some opting to exchange gifts on December 24th, adding a contemporary twist to this captivating holiday custom. Did you know that a remarkable historical secret exists amidst the bustling streets of modern-day Mexico City? San Juan Tenochtitlan, established in 1524, stands out as the sole city that has endured continuous habitation since its inception. However, its fate dramatically turned when Spanish conquistador Hernán Cortés orchestrated a siege, resulting in significant destruction. The city was reborn as modern-day Mexico City, built upon the remnants of San Juan Tenochtitlan. The sacred Templo Mayor, surrounded by a wall adorned with captivating serpent imagery, was central to this ancient city. Today, the intriguing ruins of Templo Mayor stand as silent witnesses in the heart of Mexico City's historical center, preserving the echoes of centuries past amidst the vibrant urban landscape. The metropolis features subway cars exclusively for women, with entry restricted to females only. This innovative initiative aims to create a secure and comfortable space for female commuters. Despite common misconceptions about safety, Mexico City boasts a crime rate comparable to New York City's, earning its reputation as one of the safer urban destinations. Adding a touch of inclusivity, these women-only sections also welcome minors under 12, ensuring a protected environment for young passengers and women navigating the city's bustling subway network. 
Now that we've got your attention with those crazy Mexico facts, let's get down to business. If you're planning to visit or are in the capital city already and wondering what to do, stick around because we've got the ultimate Mexico itinerary lined up for you. If you still need to do so, we highly recommend you subscribe to our channel as we will be making videos on all the major countries and cities in the world. Number 1. Our initial destination on this journey through Mexico City's wonders is the Torre Latino Americana. This genuinely iconic landmark promises breathtaking views and an ideal spot for a mesmerizing sunset experience. Picture this. The observation deck on the 44th floor offers a complete 360-degree panorama, providing sweeping vistas that stretch for miles on a clear day. To elevate the experience, there's a fantastic restaurant on the 43rd floor where you can relish a meal with these epic views. And for those seeking a more laid-back vibe, the bar is perfect for a couple of sundowners. Trust me, watching the sun dip behind the surrounding volcanoes is a personal favorite and an incredible way to kick off a night filled with the vibrant nightlife of Mexico City. Number 2. Next, let's dive into the enchanting world of Ballet Folklorico. This mesmerizing performance brings to life the vibrant traditions of Mexican dance and music, acting as a dynamic living museum, preserving the rich cultural heritage of Mexico. Picture this. The visionary behind this captivating ballet, Amalia Hernandez, took the spectacle across the globe in the 1900s, earning international acclaim and numerous awards. Fast forward to today, and you can witness the Ballet Folklorico's spellbinding performances every week at Bellas Arts, once on Wednesdays and twice on Sundays. If you happen to be around during the festive season, don't miss their special Christmas show at Chapultepec Castle adding a touch of holiday magic to the cultural celebration. Catch the Ballet Folklorico's captivating rhythms and moves at C. Violeta 31, Guerrero, Cuauhtémoc, 06300 Ciudad de Mexico. Number 3. Then Lucha Liber, the iconic Mexican wrestling spectacle that's not just a sport, but an intangible cultural heritage of Mexico City. Picture this. Wrestlers don flamboyant costumes and masks, creating a visual feast as popular as soccer in Mexico. For those eager to catch the live excitement, Arena Mexico and Arena Coliseo are the places to be. Here's a tip. While these arenas bring the adrenaline, they're not exactly in the safest neighborhoods. So ensure you've got your ride ready when the match ends. After all, you wouldn't want to be lingering outside in the dark after witnessing the Lucha Libre Theatrix. Number 4. Now, if you're a fan of flavorful spirits and looking to spice up your night in Mexico City, let's talk about mezcal, the intriguing smoky cousin of tequila that's become a Mexican icon. Crafted from the agave plant and limited to specific regions, mezcal has its spotlight in places like Coneo on La Luna, a personal favorite mezcal bar in the lively La Condesa neighborhood. Picture this. A vast selection of different mezcals awaits, and the skilled bartenders are like mezcal wizards, ready to guide you to your perfect match. La Condesa isn't just a stop for drinks, it's a vibrant hub with numerous bars and restaurants to explore, setting the stage for a fantastic night out. And here's a bonus, imagine whipping traditional Mexican dishes while sipping on cocktails if you're into cooking. If Mexican and tacos sound like your adventure, a Mexican and taco tour around the city is an absolute must-try. It's not just a tour, it's a journey to discover the essence of this traditional Mexican spirit and savor some of the city's finest mezcals. Number 5. Are you feeling a dance fever? Here's a fantastic idea for your night out in Mexico City. Why not dive into the local salsa scene and learn some spicy salsa moves? Trust me, it's one of the most incredible things you can experience after the sun sets. The good news is there are plenty of spots in Mexico City where you can join salsa classes or hit up popular places where locals gather for some salsa fun. If you're flying solo, no worries. Both options are perfect for solo travelers. Head over to the Condesa neighborhood. It's like a salsa paradise for travelers. And if you're up for a class, Mama Ruba in Condesa is your go-to spot. Get ready to salsa your night away and embrace the rhythm of Mexico City. Number 6. Let's take a breather and chat about Chapultepec Park, a colossal urban oasis in Polanco that puts even Central Park to shame, nearly twice its size. 
Here's the cool part. Exploring this massive park is a must and one of the most remarkable freebies you can snag in Mexico City. Imagine this, an evening adventure in Chapultepec, sprawled out for a night picnic in the Botanic Gardens. And guess what? Once a month, you can turn it into a romantic solo date or a sweet rendezvous. You've got options. Pack your grub and stroll in for free, or grab a picnic basket at the gardens for 300 Mexican pesos if you're feeling fancy. Number 7. Get ready to dive into the fabulously spooky world of the Day of the Dead. This isn't your average backyard get-together. Imagine a fiesta where skeletons are the life of the party and the dress code screams hauntingly chick. It's like Halloween's elegant cousin, with more color and less horror. You'll dance with dazzlingly dressed figures and skulls that have more glitter than your grandma's Christmas tree. So grab your most spirited outfit and let's get eerie with it. It's the one time you can party with the past, and trust me, these ancestors know how to throw a bash. Number 8. Ready for a unique and slightly eerie experience in Mexico City? Look as far as Mercado Sonora, a market on the outskirts of Centro Historico. Here you can discover a treasure trove of crafts, artwork, pottery, and believe it or not, live animals, some of which are not strictly legal, leading to occasional raids. But the real gem is the witch market, where you can explore herbal potions, magical items, and occult treasures. It's the place that comes to life after dark, offering a glimpse of spooky wonders that make for a one-of-a-kind adventure you won't encounter anywhere else in Mexico. Number 9. So you're in for a treat regarding Mexican culture. Enter mariachi, the heart and soul of traditional Mexican ballads. Picture this. Bands with singers, guitars, trumpets, guitarins, and violins serenading the streets. A mariachi group can range from a cozy trio to a lively gathering of six to nine musicians. Now in Mexico City, head to Plaza Garibaldi during the day, and you'll find mariachi bands chilling, waiting to add musical magic to events. But when the sun sets, it transforms into a mariachi fiesta. The square buzzes with music, and folks gather in nearby bars, sipping tequila, grooving to the tunes, and making merry well into the early hours. Number 10. Finally, if you're a taco enthusiast, Mexico City is your haven for the world's best tacos. Luckily, there are plenty of taco tours to explore this culinary delight across the sprawling city. The tacos here are a lead of their own, setting the town apart from other regions. Different neighborhoods in Mexico City boast tacos with a diverse range of meats and spices, matching the rich tapestry of its people. For a taco adventure with a side of responsible tourism, check out the Eat Like a Local Food Tour. It takes you on a taco journey and supports women in the industry, celebrating female-owned businesses in the city. So there it is, amigos, we've explored some of the country's most captivating and delightful offerings. Whether you're drawn to its rich history, craving culinary adventures, or just seeking a good time, Mexico has something for every wanderer. Share your experiences with us in the comments below. Which of the mentioned places have you visited, and are there any other cities you'd like us to uncover? Thanks for being part of this journey, and be sure to hit that subscribe button for more travel insights and delightful facts. Cheers and happy exploring!